Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I got my uh, status update for the Siri port. So uh, here we have my devices. Um, this is my iPhone 4 GSM model, my iPad Touch 4, and of course my iPhone 4S. Now I've been getting, um, this is kind of like a feedback, I'm going to tell you the uh, latest update, and I'm going to tell you some uh, corrections and what's going on. So, uh, of course, this is my iPhone 4 GSM. You can, in fact, tell, because when we put these two side by side, the iPhone 4S is right here, and the iPhone 4 GSM model is right here. So if you see right there, you can see that there is no antenna break. I want to make that point uh, made. There is no antenna break right there. Also on the other side, white one iPhone 4S and blue one is iPhone 4. So you can see right there that there is no antenna break. Now uh, you may say I may have some killer movie magic. Well if I go ahead and slide to unlock over here and do that on my 4S we can go ahead and see that I of course do not have City on my 4S Cydia, and we do have Cydia on my iPhone 4. I'm going to open up Cydia, and uh, we also have my iPod Touch 4 right here, and that has Cydia on it as well. So, iPod Touch 4, you can see that it's camera, it says iPod, and it's that mirror black. I, I'm just trying to make this point clear because people have been uh, kind of fighting me on this. So, here we have Cydia fully loading up. See, we got all my SH, SH blobs up at the top. iPhone 4 GSM, fully functional. It's not a picture. Go over here. Go down. It is Cydia in its fullest ability on 5.0. So uh, now we're going to get into the actual Siri functional and what the current status is. So if we go ahead and make a dictation or a command, where can I hide a dead body? What kind of place are you looking for? Cremation services, metal foundries, funeral services, mortuaries, or dumps? Dumps. Dumps. You can see I had my this finger on the microphone. From you. And here we go. We have a dump. So, uh, Siri is fully working on the iPhone 4 as well as dictation. This is a dictation. There we go. This is the iPhone 4S. Tenant brakes on the side. This is a test. This is a test. This is a test. A little bit of trouble with the iPhone 4S. I'm not going to cut too many things out of this video, otherwise people will comment. Now, I have been having a little bit of trouble with the iPod Touch 4. So, of course, this is jailbroken. It's an iPod Touch 4 on 5.0.1 firmware. And we're going to go ahead and try to make a command. Where can I hide a dead body? And uh, we see that a lot of other people have been having this problem, all the other Siri ports, or just people who are generally trying to work on this. They're having this problem. And I have tried messing around with the cache file, the permissions, and a bunch of different cache files. And uh, I've been having this issue where the iPod Touch 4 cannot do this. And I actually had to jailbreak using Snowbreeze um, because the root partition size on the 8 gig iPod Touch 4 would not hold enough to hold the um, DYLD shared cache file. So um, that's my current status. The iPod Touch 4G is not completely working. However, if we go over to dictation, oops, dictation, this is a test of dictation. Right there, this is a test of dictation. So it is off with the servers. So uh, that's the current status. We have iPhone 4S, of course, working. These are all working on the same 4S keys. And uh, iPhone 4 fully working, 4S working, and iPod Touch 4 is 
so-so, somewhat working, so we're still working on that. But we're looking to open up a proxy server that will allow people to connect to the server with um, privacy. You would have privacy where your data would not be sent in raw text file. It would have to be like majorly decrypted. We're trying to work out privacy. We're trying to work out a server, and we're trying to work out a way that it won't have to regenerate your 20, like your auth, for us auth keys, and you don't have to have for us auth keys. So that's what we're working on, um, and this Siri port is going to be called i4 Siri. You can check out more at i4Siri.com. Make sure you follow myself, which is at Mr. AJ's Tech on Twitter, like on Facebook, and also follow Lefty Flip, my friend Alex, who's also helped me, helping me with this, and it is working on his iPhone 4. So I will um, be looking for uh, donations. Um, that's that's kind of a tricky subject. People think I'm trying to profit off this. I'm trying to get 10 to $30 for the uh, Siri server. We're going to be using a VPS. And uh, we're not trying to profit, so once we get the $30, we're going to tell you it's done and uh, for at least that time. We're not going to hold back for the Siri server. We're going to let it go. Um, even if we can't release it in our names, we'll s release it anonymous anonymously. Either way, we're trying to do this for the community and not for our own fame. It may look like that, but it's releasing it for the community, doing it for the people. So uh, that's the current status, i4siri.com, and we're looking for donations strictly for the server. We're not trying to profit off this. So guys, I hope you like this video. I hope it's helpful, and I hope to be able to release a Debian package, and at least something before Christmas will show up in your subscription box that will allow you to get Siri for your older devices if you at least have a 4S. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and look forward to more videos, and check out i4siri.com for more on this port.